At the end of this video, you should be able to identify websites or applications that offers creation of an online survey form. Discuss the steps in creating an online survey form. Follow the steps in creating an online survey. Identify the steps in processing survey data. Know the different elements of Google Forms Response tab. Process and analyze online survey data. According to the 10 advantages of online surveys of smartsurvey.co.uk, online surveys are a great way to reach and engage with your target audience and these are as follows. Increase response rates by reaching your target audience fast. Conduct market research at a fraction of the usual cost. Get real-time results for quick and easy analysis. Online survey is a study that aims to gather data to get a particular view, belief, or opinion of a group of respondents about specific issue or topic. This survey is conducted through the internet using particular websites and costs less than having a traditional paper survey form. Here are some of online survey tools that you can use for free. There are a lot of things that you need to think before starting your survey-like topic you're going to have, the type of questions, and your target audience. Here are some tips that you can consider before creating your first survey. Introduction In this part, you will need to have a brief but clear overview of what is the survey all about. Giving objective or objectives or purpose can also be put here. Another thing is, where will the data be used? And will the responses be kept confidential? Designing your template Designing your survey form is also another thing you need to think. It should be attractive, simple, and easy to read. Use appropriate colors, font size, and arrangement of the parts of the survey so that the respondent can easily move from one part to another in a logical manner. Avoid unnecessary images or sections. Keep your instructions plain and simple. Pilot test your survey. Statement in appreciation. You can include and customize a thank you to the respondents that answered your survey. When you are all set, it is now time to post your survey form. Here are the steps in creating an online survey using Google Form. Google Forms is a free-line online survey tool offered by Google that allows collecting information from users via, via personalized survey or quiz. There are two ways to open Google Forms. By typing forms.google.com in the address bar. In the Applications tab of Google Chrome, creating an online survey form. Type forms that google.com in the address bar or log in in your Google account and click the Applications tab. Locate and select Forms. You will then be directed to the page where you can select either creating a blank form or you can also choose the predefined templates Google Forms have. After choosing a template, it will be directed to this tab. In the upper part shows features to change the name of your form, customize the themes, View, View Preview, and Settings. The Send button is also in the upper part of the form. You can customize on how you would like your target audience will answer your survey. To know more about Google Forms, you can visit and watch how to use Google Forms tutorial for beginners. According to what is Survey Data Processing by Oliver Harrison, he stated that survey data processing is the crucial step that follows the collection of any survey data. The aim of data processing is to manipulate or transform raw data into meaningful results which can be analyzed in any statistical software tool and ultimately presented in a way that answers the intended research question. Google Form has a dedicated tab for viewing all the responses and that is the Responses tab. There are five different ways of viewing the responses in your survey. In the Summary sub-tab, Question sub-tab, Individual sub-tab, Viewing responses in Google Sheets, Downloading responses as CSV. To access these responses, 
Simply open your created survey form and click the Responses tab. Here you will find the results from everyone who responded so far, along with several features that you can explore. By default, the first sub-tab that you will see in the Responses tab is the Summary. Summary sub-tab has the overview of the responses of your survey. This may contain different graphs and charts depending on the type of questions you selected while creating your survey. Other options are question sub-tab or individual. You can also view responses in spreadsheet. To use a spreadsheet with responses to your form by doing the following. Click the View Responses button in the toolbar. The dialog box will appear that lets you choose between creating a new spreadsheet or creating a new sheet in an existing spreadsheet. And the last option you have is to view it as CSV or Command or Comma Separated Values on Microsoft Excel. To download a CSV file of all the responses, do the following. Click the File menu. Select Download Responses. From there, you can use the Excel features to analyze the responses from your survey. If you are done with the survey you created and decided to stop the survey, you may do the following. On the Responses tab, select Accepting Responses to toggle Responses off. The upper part of your survey will turn into Not Accepting Responses and a message on the top of the form will appear indicating that the form has been turned off. If you like to reopen your form to accept responses again later, just follow the same procedure to toggle responses back on. You can also customize the message letting the visitors know that the form is no longer accepting responses. Change the text that appears under the heading message for respondents.